Welcome, fellow believers and lovers of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you are a new YouTuber and you're interested in getting more views, then we got to learn from the general public because sometimes these unbelievers or not fervent believers, they are wiser than, than us. That's what the Bible says. So we can learn from them. All right, let's see. This one says how to grow with zero views and zero subscribers. Mine is kind of close to that, except I have a, more than one, but not that much more. So let's see if we can learn something from him. It's an Asian guy just like me. Frustrating it could be when you have zero views and zero subscribers. Your YouTube channel, you are getting started. No one knows who you are yet and what kind of content you produce. You spend all that time planning and scripting and, and filming and editing the videos and you're all excited, you upload it to YouTube. Only a few people watch it. I remember back then when I had zero views and zero subscribers and I, I would upload a video and I would wait and I would refresh a few times, hopefully to get a few more views. So I know what it's like when you're starting from scratch. And I know a lot of my fans that I inspire you to start your YouTube channel. By the way, if you start your YouTube channel because of following my work, comment below and let me know. I might just check out your YouTube channel. So how do you grow with zero views and zero subscribers? See, in the publishing world, I've done a number of books and there's a joke that we talk about in the publishing world. Well, how do you become a best-selling author? Well, it's easy to become a best-selling author if you already have a best-seller, right? So meaning that it's easy to grow your YouTube channel if your YouTube channel already has a lot of subscribers. And also, you're already famous. That it's easy for your videos to go viral or to get more views and get more eyeballs when you already have a big YouTube channel. But what do you do if you're starting from scratch? So today, I'm going to share five secrets with you if I want to start all over again growing with zero views and zero subscribers what are the five things that I would do so make sure you stay until the very end I'm gonna share one secret with you that will explode your subscribers and explode your views you ready let's go I'm ready YouTube secret number one Hey, Jevis, do you remember what secret number one is? I believe it's use compelling titles, sir. Right. Use compelling titles. You don't want to be boring. One of the biggest scenes you could commit as a YouTuber is to have boring titles. Yes, I know there are YouTubers out there that they have boring titles and yet they still have millions and millions of followers. If you are Casey, that's a different story. Casey breaks every single rule and so has a massive following. But for most people who are starting from zero views and zero subscribers, you want to have compelling, compelling titles for your videos because people are searching you. They don't know you yet. So let me give you some templates, some examples, because I got started as a copywriter. I remember back then when I was doing copywriting, when I was writing any kind of titles, any kind of headlines, we call that, that we want to make it interesting. And one of the litmus tests is we ask ourselves, would this headline work in a classified ad? Yes, I know, newspaper, I'm sharing you at my age, I get that, okay? But newspaper, people are flipping through the newspaper and they can see, okay, would this headline be compelling enough for people to, to read, want to find out more information? So it's the same thing. So let me give you some proven headlines or just some ideas when it comes to titles. Number one, how to. How to is always a very, very powerful title because People go on YouTube, they want to find out, hey, how do I do something, right? How to is a very, very powerful title. One of my videos that went kind of viral is how to make a thousand dollars a day using your smartphone, with your smartphone. So it has a promise. It also tells them, hey, I will learn how to do something. So how to is a huge category on YouTube. Second, it could be a variation of that, like how I, how I have done something. 
another video that went viral for my channel is how I retired at the age of 27, where I kind of share my story, what I've done, some of the lessons that I've learned. So that's another example. Another good example is secrets of, secrets of. So people want to know, right, Travis? People want to know. People, people want to know, know, sir. People want to know what are the secrets, secrets of. So example of one of my videos, the secret to closing more sales. That's another example. The secret of or secrets of, and if you have even a, a specific numbers, three or four or five, that's even more powerful. Another example, warning type headline, such as I have this video called, don't start a business until you watch this, or don't start your YouTube channel until you watch this. It's kind of like a warning. Hey, don't do that until you watch this video. You see how it's very much curiosity driven? Or one more example, and that is a headline, a title that is outcome driven. Example, the most dangerous animals in the world. Oh, that's interesting. You see, that, that has a very particular, very precise, very specific payoff. When your viewers click on that video, before even they click on that video, they know exactly what they are going to get. Now, when your channel is small, right, when you have no views, zero views and zero subscribers, when you use a title like, hey, my trip to Europe, nobody gives a damn because no one knows who you are yet, right? Once you have millions of followers, subscribers, sure, my trip to Europe, your fans want to know, hey, what is going on? I want to know. Those vlogging type videos, you will get traction. But in the beginning, it's much more difficult to get traction if you are not well known. So why not focus a topic that people are already searching for, right? Using how to, using warning, using secrets of, right? Using those proven titles. That way you will grow much, much faster. YouTube secret number two. Hook them with a YouTube trailer. Think about your favorite movie, right? Before it comes out, you're all excited, right? The movie company, what do they do? They release a trailer. They give you some of the best scenes from the movie, so you're looking forward when the movie comes out. You should do the same thing for your YouTube channel. So you have your first time visitor going to your channel, going to the homepage of your channel. They could click on it and they could see what your channel is about. Robert Cialdini in his book, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, he talks about why you need to give them a reason to do something. People need to know, you need to have a reason why they need to do it. It's not enough to say, hey, my content is fantastic, my videos are fantastic, that you should subscribe. It's not good enough. So in your trailer, tell them who you are, what you're about, how often you have a reason to do something. People need to know you need to have a reason why they need to do it. It's not enough to say, hey, my content is fantastic, my videos are fantastic, that you should subscribe. It's not good enough. Visitor, go into your channel, go into the homepage of your channel. They could click on it and they could see what your channel is about. Robert Cialdini in his book, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, he talks about why you need to give them a reason to do something. People need to know, you need to have a reason why they need to do it. I'm writing all these down because this guy is pretty good. <laughs> He's pretty good. A fellow Asian guy. Need a reason. Need a reason. Second reason. Need a reason why they need to do it. And he looks like he's made a lot of money with so many cars. I don't mind just having two. He got looks like he got five. Maybe it's I don't need two. To say, hey, my content is fantastic. My videos are fantastic. That you should subscribe. It's not good enough. So in your trailer, tell them who you are, what you're about, how often you upload. What okay, let's see. I'm gonna go back and see what they have to say again. I'm gonna slow it down. That you should subscribe. It's not good enough. So in your trailer, tell them who you are, what you... Trailer. Tell them who you are.
fantastic that you should subscribe. It's not good enough. So in your trailer, tell them who you are, what you're about, how often. Tell who you are, what you are about. How often you upload. Often you upload. Why should they subscribe and exactly what do you want them to do? Why should they subscribe? And what you want them to do. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now, would it be helpful if I give you some kind of a, a script for your trailer? Comment below. Yes? Here we go. You could say something like this. Hey, my name is blank. I am... My name is, I am, this guy's good. I am a, an entrepreneur, I'm a vlogger. I am a vlogger. I am a travel enthusiast, whatever it might be. I am a blank, right? When you subscribe to my channel, when you subscribe to my channel. Tell them you're going to get X, Y, Z. What are the benefits? Why do you subscribe? Hey, you're going to learn more. You will get. And then parenthesis benefits about this yeah you're gonna learn more about that you're gonna get this you're gonna learn about this you're gonna learn about that those are the benefits you'll learn about this about that Kind of value you got to tell people that right and also tell them every single week i upload one video two videos every single week actually every single day that's what i do every single day i upload at least one video Every single Tuesday and Thursday, I will upload a video for you. Tell them the frequency of your uploads. I upload at least one video for you. I like that for you. So they know what to expect. And don't forget to tell people exactly what you want them to do. Don't assume because you have good content, oh, they'll naturally subscribe. No, you got to tell them. So tell them, hey, click on the button here, subscribe, or click on the button there, subscribe to my YouTube channel today. And make sure... Please subscribe to my channel today. I want to say right now. So you won't forget. This guy is good. He's really good. And he's like a role model to me. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you turn on the notification. Got to tell them what to do. You got it? Secret number three, and that is. Okay, something about notification. I got to go back to that. Oh, they'll naturally subscribe. 
No, you gotta tell them. So tell them, hey, click on the button here, subscribe, or click on the button there, subscribe to my YouTube channel today. And make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you turn on the notification. Yeah. Make sure you turn on, make sure you click the bell. Make sure you click the bell and turn on turn on the notification now i don't like that but anyway for people ask me to do that but i'm asking other people to do that for me so i guess it's not the same situation but anyway okay you have to tell them what to do you got it secret number three and that is fall in love with your fans not your content one of the okay i gotta understand what that means <laughs> fall in love. i don't know what that means fall in love with your fans not your content I got to make sure I know what that means. Biggest mistakes a lot of YouTubers make. They make videos that they want to make instead of making videos that your fans want. Okay, now I understand. He defines it. Make videos your fans want. Now, the only problem is some I could do, some I cannot. I'm not going to, as far as Bible truths, I'm not going to bend and change on that. You see, it's very easy to forget that there's another human being behind this watching you. That you look at the thumbs up, you look at the numbers, you look at the views, you look at subscribers, and you think it's just a digit. Well, it's not just a digit. Let me tell you this. Behind this, there's a person, there's a human being with feelings, emotions, and struggles. Never forget that. Don't ever, ever treat your fan like a digit. It's very, very important. And I think what... Don't treat your fans like a digit. Treat them as a person. With emotions, feelings, and something, I think he mentioned about heartaches or something. Heartaches, emotions, feelings, All right, I'm going to go back a little bit, see what else to say. Secret number three, and that is fall in love with your fans, not your content. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of YouTubers make, they make videos that they want to make instead of making videos that your fans want. You see, it's very easy to forget that there's another human being behind this watching you. That you look at the thumbs up, you look at the numbers, you look at the views, you look at subscribers, and you think it's just a digit. Well, it's not just a digit. Let me tell you this. Behind this, there's a person, there's a human being with feelings, emotions, and struggles. Never forget that. And Don't struggles. ever, ever treat your fan like a digit. It's very, very important. And I think one of the reasons why my series, Boss and the Family, does so well on YouTube, because it's Q&A, it's... My fans, you submitting a question, and I answer them. I interact. Oh, subscribe to him. He's good. That makes a huge difference. So you have to care about your fans. Another thing that you could do is, as a creator, as a YouTuber, you could give your fans comment a part to let them know. And when you do that, your fan who left a comment would actually get a notification that you have given them a heart. Sometimes I know when I read your comments, I give you a heart and my fans, you, you're thinking, is that really you? Dan, did you just give me a heart? Yes, it's really me. 
I think any YouTubers, when they think they're too big and they're too popular and they no longer connect with their fans, they're not going to last long. YouTube secret number four, have a CTA in your video. What does CTA stand for? I just subscribe to him just in case I forget. So number four, he's really good. One of the best, just amazing. Have a CTA in your video. Call to action. Call to action. CTA stands for call to action. You have to tell your viewers exactly what you want them to do. Do you want them to share your video? Do you want them to give you a thumbs up? Do you want them to comment below on the video? You have to tell them exactly what to do. Never ever assume. You see, one of the things that I did when I started telling my viewers, you to click on the button below and subscribe to my channel. I saw a significant jump in terms of subscribers that I get. At first I thought, hey, if you love my content, don't you like naturally subscribe? People don't do that. And there are many ways you can do this. There are many ways you can insert a call to action. Example, you can do it before, during, and after. So in the beginning of your video, you could say something like, hey, if this is the first time you are watching my video, or this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You can do something like that. Or in the middle, right, during your video, you could say, hey, if you want me to teach you more about this, you want me to share more about this experience, you want me to make more of this kind of video, make sure you comment below, and hey, don't forget to subscribe. If this is the first time you are watching my video, don't forget to click subscribe so you will not so you will not miss any of my new videos this all right You can also do it at the end. Of course, don't overdo this, right? You don't want to do it like three, four times. That's a bit overkill. But at the end of your video, you can say something like, hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notification. It's very, very important that you ask them to turn on the notification. It means that every single time you release a video, there's a chance that they will see it on their homepage, the subscribers feed. So then they were more likely to click on your video. So call to action. YouTube secret number five, and that is long-term consistency trumps short-term intensity. I think most YouTubers, they give up. I like that. I need that because right now I have short-term intensity for sure, but I need to convert that to long-term consistency. Trumps short term intensity. Up too soon. They upload some videos or they upload a dozen videos and then they give up because they are saying to themselves, no one's watching my video. I'm not getting enough views, no comment. Why I spend so much time making these videos. I know how you feel. I know how, how sucky it is when you upload a video and you spend all that time, you're creating that perfect piece of content and then no one watches your video. But you have to stay consistent. You have to think of this as a long-term long game. Think of it as like you're pushing a, a... You have to stay consistent. You have to stay... Right? 
in the beginning. It is like it is like pushing a snowball uphill. I like that illustration very much. This guy is good. <laughs> He's a little out of shape, but anyway. Okay, let's see what he has to say. It's very, very, very heavy, very heavy. You keep pushing and you keep pushing. But once you hit that tipping point, once you, you go over that mountain, right, that, that hump, everything becomes so much faster, like that snowball effect. I still remember what took me before months, the amount of views that took me months to get now, I could get it in hours. Why? Because of that snowball effect. I promise you, if you upload two times a week instead of one time, your channel will grow faster. If you upload three times a week instead of just two times, your channel will grow even faster. My channel exploded the minute I commit to a daily upload. Now, I'm not saying that you have to upload a video every single day. Okay, He's, he said his channel exploded. I forgot his name, but anyway, this guy's good. I'll just put in quote, my channel exploded once I upload a video every day. But that works. That long-term consistency absolutely trumps that short-term intensity. Do it long-term. Think of this as a long-term game. You're investing, you're building an asset, you're building a platform. It is absolutely worth it. So those are the five secrets on how to grow with zero views and zero subscribers. I have so many more secrets I want to share with you. In fact, I'm doing a special online event, a virtual event that you could participate called YouTube Secrets. Click the link here or here and get your ticket today. You can join me from the comfort of your own home where I'm going to share with you way more secrets. How do you grow that channel? How do you monetize your YouTube channel? How do you make a full-time living as a YouTuber? So click the link here or there and I will see you at the event. Dan Lok. His name is Dan Lok. I think he's Vietnamese. Yes. It's good. So how do you how do you join that thing? Only thing is that it's usually a course, and then you have to pay like a thousand dollar. I'm not not ready for that. It's too early for me to join any of that kind of stuff because I gotta take off first. $49 plus $231 worth of free bonuses. Let me see, what is it? Two follower secrets video training. Pick any pro four programs for one hundred and forty nine dollars. OK, let's see. It says Insta Secrets Video Training Persuasion Secrets Video Training Personal Branding Secrets Video Training Social Media Secrets Vault, Ultimate Training Collection. They got some bad reviews. I don't know why he'd leave it there. Okay.
mega training. So also some bad reviews. I didn't get to get one item. Yeah, at least with that one, he's good. But I'm not putting any money because I need to swim, learn to swim and fall. And also a lot of free stuff are in the YouTube right now. And there's so much free stuff in there that I feel there's no need to put any money at this time. Maybe when I learn more, I could... I know which one are worth it and which are not. Right now, I don't because I'm too new, a newbie. I put in a like a one thousand dollar earlier, one thousand dollars for something about audio books, and then another one thousand commitment, but in twelve payments for YouTube. And I'm so glad I canceled them. Because I was overwhelmed, I couldn't keep up. They, they were confusing me more than what? Because I'm so new. So I canceled them. So I decided to learn as I go. I know there's a different philosophies. There's a philosophy that you need to plan everything and then you take action. But then there's another philosophy is that shoot, shoot first, then. A jet monitor and adjust later. I'm kind of like in between that, some planning but some shooting. So, yeah, it was confusing. I'm glad I canceled it. I needed the money anyway. All right, fellow believers. I think this is a still a believers channel. We we are believers and we are like lambs in the midst of wolves in sheep's clothing and we got to pray to the lord and i think at least with me i like to be financially independent hopefully i could get income from youtubing and affiliate marketing through youtube so that i can um drop my jobs and serve the lord full time and be anywhere in on the earth with an income and i can work in this youtube that's my dream i'm like a dreamer like joseph in the bible and maybe you too so we need to learn from some of these people who may not be believers because i think the bible says the sons of the something about unbelievers are wiser than the believers and so make use of mammon of unrighteousness to learn from them or something like that. Well, I'm not throwing any money right now, but I'm just learning from these unbelievers, possibly unbelievers. All right. The Lord bless you out of Zion. And I'm going to learn from Dan Locke. Smash the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my videos. Turn on Click the bell, turn on the notification so you get notified of my new videos. I have videos every come out every day. And click like and leave a comment. And I'm going to give you a heart if you do. We'll see you later. The Lord bless you out of Zion.